Hello everyone, Bentley K here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video is a Hot Flash Monday video and we are going to be testing out, which I'm really hot right now, but we're going to be testing the Clinique Stay Matte Oil Free Makeup. I have a sample of it. Um, I didn't get, my Ulta did not get in the Makeup Revolution one that I wanted to test that I've been saying for two weeks. Okay, we're going to get it next week. Well, I finally just went in there and ordered it because they have it online. And so I got the color F6. Hopefully that's good because I don't think they're ever going to get it in the store. They don't know when they're going to get it. They keep saying next week, check next week, check next week. Well, now I know I'm going to get it within three to seven days. I just don't know if the color will be good. So this week we are going to be testing out the Clinique. Stay Matte Oil Free Foundation. This is not new. I thought it was new because I'd never seen it before. And I'm not a big... I used to wear uh, Clinique Beyond Perfection, Perfecting all the time. And then when I started my YouTube channel, I had started trying all these other ones. And when I went back to use that one, I was going to do a thing on that one. In fact, I think I did. I didn't like it at all. It moves around all over the place. But that one is not a matte foundation. So hopefully we will like this one. And I got the color 09. I actually went in and got a sample because this didn't look like it was going to be enough. But this will tell me what it does. It says, it is, right here it says, stays put in a jungle of heat and humidity. So that sounds like it should stand up to hot flashes. We'll see. It also says tested for streaking and fading at 88 degrees Fahrenheit with a cons constant 80 degrees humidity, 80 percent humidity. At the same time, our patent pending formula absorbs shine, controls oil, resists sweat, and you stay matte all day. It comes in 20 sheer to medium coverage shades, and it retails for 26 dollars. So it's somewhere in the middle of high-end and drugstore because the drugstore one like the, the new one that I haven't got yet it's $12 and um, that's the Makeup Revolution one and the YSL ones are like $52 so it's kind of in the middle so anyways that's what we're gonna try okay I'm just gonna go in with my little sample here I think I told you guys the color was 09 And just dab it on. And then I'm going to go in with my brush. My favorite brush right now, which is the EcoTools 360 something or other. Now this one I thought was supposed to be buildable to full coverage. Didn't that what it said? No, it seems a little sheer to me. It's like I can see the color, but I can still see my spots poking through. It's a little dark. And you know what? She tried a different color on me, a lighter one in there, but it seemed like that was too light. Maybe it wasn't. That's okay. It's just a sample, so I could go to the lighter one if I love it. And I've decided that I like getting samples and using those for our Mondays. Because I don't need to be buying a new foundation every week and having to return it if I don't like it. So this way, if I just use sample especially if you go to Macy's that's where I went to get this you get a 10 day sample so it's more than enough to do the test and then if it's one I love I can go buy it and then I don't end up with a whole drawer full of ones that I didn't return fast enough well, it looks good Except that it's pretty sheer. Oh wait, it's in the lines big time up here. You know, I never used to have trouble with it sinking in my forehead lines. I don't know. 
Maybe my forehead lines are getting worse. Because it seems like I am having more trouble lately. All right, I'm going to go in with a little more and see if we can build this up. Not going to put it on my forehead, though. Because that's where it was sinking in. Pretty good. I think I'll take my sponge and just push this around a little. Maybe that's all it needs. A little pushing around. I have already put primer on. I've used my Strevectin Blur Effector Primer. Well, it looks pretty good, but still didn't really build to cover. Maybe I should read that again and see if it did say full coverage. I know it said buildable, I think. Oops. All right. At the same time, our patent formula shine controls all day matte. Sheer to medium coverage. So it didn't say it would build to full. So I would say I've got sheer to medium coverage. It's somewhere in between. I don't think it's medium coverage, but it's since I put this second coat on, it's not as sheer. We're going to stop there, though. I'm going to add some uh, concealer. And then I will finish my makeup and we will give it a all day wear test. I'm going to use the Born This Way concealer from Too Faced. And I'm just going to use a little bit. Is that a little bit enough? Oh, I need to put it on my nose, though. That wasn't a little bit, huh? Because I stuck it back in there for a minute. Okay, what did I do with my sponge? Oh, here it is. been having some uh, issues with my concealer lately that's why I didn't use shape tape it's been separating so I thought I would use this one and use less so that maybe I could forestall that little issue. I don't know if it's because my skin's getting drier, because the air is getting colder, or what. But I, I remember having these problems before, but I haven't had them in a long time, so I thought I had fixed them, but I'm thinking maybe it's the weather that determines when that happens. But I just have to adjust for the weather. And I'm figuring that out. Okay, I'm going to go off camera, put on the rest of my makeup, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, I am back. This is the full makeup for the day. If you like this eye look, it will be up on Wednesday. It is a half-cut crease. 
a shiny green half cut crease smoky eye. So, um, so far I like this foundation. It seems pretty good. It's not creasing. It's kind of sheer for me. I like it a little bit more coverage, but I'll give up a little coverage if it'll not sink into lines. And so far it's not sinking into lines. So I will come back at the end of the day and give you an update as to how it did in this super humid day. And we shall see if it passes the test. I'll be back. Okay guys, I am back. It is the end of the day and I am really liking this foundation. Other than the fact that it is a little bit sheerer than I would like, I like it. It looks really nice. It's not sinking into wrinkles. Even on my forehead where I was seem to be having more trouble these days, um, my, found, or my concealer, it didn't separate. So that's good. So I guess using less and pushing it in really well and then powdering it is the ticket. I did eat. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. We're giving it a thumbs up. This is the Clinique Stay Matte Foundation. And we are going to give this a thumbs up for hot flash and wrinkles. It did really well. It's, it's been a super humid day. It's been raining and it's warm. Actually, when I went outside, it wasn't really that warm. It's warm inside. But it was humid earlier. When I have a hot flash, it's humid because it's raining and I'm hot. So it's humid. And it's held up really well. And so have my eyeshadow. It looks amazing. So you'll have to stay tuned win till Wednesday to see the super metallic green smoky eye or whatever I decide to call it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and hit that little bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching my videos. And I will see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.